This is Mr. Liao, and I'm here to show you how to do some basic normal calculations on the TI-84 and 83. I'm using a TI-84 Plus color. You can use a TI-83 or 84 without the color. It'll work very much the same way. So the command we're going to be using is called normal CDF. You can find that under second, distributions, and select number two, normal CDF. Do not select PDF, select CDF. If you hit enter, if you have an 84, you will see this screen. It's going to ask you for four parameters. The lower limit, the upper limit, the mean, which is represented by mu, and the standard deviation, which is sigma. And what it's going to do is calculate the area under the curve between the lower and the upper value. Now, we're going to do some of these exercises on the notes just to show you how it works. So let's start with number 12. We want to find the proportion of values that are less than 1.36 standard deviations above the mean. So that means we want to know what, how, what percentage of values or what proportion of values are less than a z-score of 1.36. So for the lower limit, we're going to use negative E99. So this is the default. If you don't know how to put it in, you're going to put negative. The E button is second comma. 99. This is going to basically serve as negative infinity, a very, very negative number. The upper limit, we're going to use 1.36. We're going to leave the mean 0 and the standard deviation of 1 because we're using the standard normal curve with z-scores. Press paste, hit enter again, and you will see that 0.913, the proportion of values with a z-score less than 1.36 is 0.1931. Now, what you will notice here if you have TI-83, you're going to have to enter these terms manually. So you're going to have four arguments. You're going to put in the lower limit, the comma, the upper limit, comma, and then the mean and the standard deviation. So you're going to do that on the TI-83 or if you have an older TI-84. Let's try number 13. More than 2.11 standard deviations above the mean. So now we are going to use normal CDF. But now we are going to go to the right of 2.11. So now our lower limit is 2.11. Our upper limit is e to the 99th, a very, very large positive number. We're going to keep the parameters for the mean and standard deviation the same. And you will see that this proportion is 0.0174. All right, let's do number 14. And now you're going to look for less than, actually, let's do number 15. The value of terms between a z-score of negative 0.36 and 1.05. So let's put a negative 0.36 for lower and 1.05 for upper. Keep the other terms the same. Hit enter. And you will see that 49.37% of values have a z-score between negative 0.36 and 1.05. Now, if you have the mean and the standard deviation of your normal distribution, you don't need to convert it to z-score. So for example, in numbers 16 to 18, we are working with young women with a mean height of 64 and a half inches and a standard deviation of two and a half inches. So let's do number 16. Find the proportion of women that are shorter than 68 inches. So that means we're going to go to the left of 68 inches. So we're going to keep the lower limit as negative E 99, upper limit of 68, now for the mean, we're going to put in 64 and a half and the standard deviation of two and a half. And so you're basically going to shortcut doing the z-score. Now on a test or quiz, I'm going to ask you to calculate the z-score, so you still need to know how to do it. But if you hit enter, notice you get the answer right away. And you can do the same thing with number 17. And we want smaller than 60, taller than 63, so the lower limit is 63, the upper limit is E99. The mean and standard deviation are the same, and you see how we get the answer there. And you can do the same thing with number 18. Between 61.6 and 70.3 inches tall, and you see these answers match what we get from the table. So that's how you do some normal calculations on the TI-8384. Thank you for watching.